All right, so I've got a new concealed carry weapon and I wanted to show it to you guys. Let me start off by saying, you know, people say that the more often that you carry and the longer that you carry, the more comfortable you're gonna become with a larger weapon. Now I started off my concealed carry journey about two years ago and bought the kel PF9 because I wanted something really slim, I wanted something small that wasn't going to print, I was worried about how heavy it was going to be, how it was going to show up on different clothing. Well after a while I realized that the kel just wasn't for me and I actually upgraded and went up to a larger weapon. And when I moved up, I moved up to the Glock 26. Instead of a single stack, it's a double stack. A little bit thicker weapon, a little bit heavier, but I've become really comfortable carrying it. So as my comfort level for size has increased, I've decided that the number of rounds that's available in the 26 just isn't enough for me. I need to go bigger. I need a larger concealed carry weapon. So what did I go with? I didn't want to go too big, so I did go with a pistol that still has Mini in the name. I went with the MPA Mini 9 Defender. 30 rounds of 9mm. All joking aside, obviously this isn't a concealed carry piece, but this is a nice, nice gun. I've yet to have the opportunity to shoot it. I haven't made it out to the range, actually. The only time that I've been shooting, I didn't have the weapon with me, so I'm looking forward to getting out and getting some range time with this. This is actually a strange little weapon. It's kind of a cross between a Mac and an Uzi. It has a lot of the features of a Mac, but it is a top charge like the Uzi. Now the can, the silencer, is a fake. It's actually just a large steel piece, not rifled or anything, that goes on the end. Without that, it's actually not that large of a weapon if you don't count the 30 round stick mag. Hopefully real soon I'll get you some range footage of this. I think this gun is going to be a blast to shoot. I'm really looking forward to it. And I was going to wait until I had some range footage, but I was just too excited. I wanted to go ahead and show it to you guys. And hopefully really soon I'll get you some good range footage and let you know my impressions. Guys, if you enjoy videos about guns, gear, and survival topics, be sure and subscribe. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give me a thumbs up. And remember, the Bible is the rock upon which our republic was built.